Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right here. <laughs> I don't really consider this a makeup tutorial or this an actual look. It is very easy peasy, very basic, and anyone can do this. I've had a lot of requests recently for a makeup look that is just going to apply to the average woman. Maybe you don't have time to get ready in the morning or you don't want to make time to get ready in the morning. I get it. Or you just want like me to go drop off your kids at school or pick up your kids from school or you just got done working out and you need to run to the grocery store. This is literally a makeup look that you could do in your car at the parking lot. It requires no makeup brushes, just a few products and literally five minutes of your time. It's so simple. It's going to work for everybody. Everybody can do this. Everybody can achieve this. It's very mindless and it's just going to make you look a little bit more fresh, alive and ready for the day. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing the world's fastest makeup look today. I don't know if you can even consider it a makeup look, but if you have five minutes, then you can do this. So let's get going. So first thing I'm going to use is the Garnet Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. This is, I think I got it at Target. I absolutely love this. I think it's a very underrated product. I don't really hear much people talk about it and I just think it's great. And I'm going to just be using this in areas that I need. I'm going to put a little bit of it right here under my eyes. Oh, that came out intense. And then with my finger, because we don't have time for makeup brushes right now, with my finger, I'm just going to dab that in this area, but I am still going to just lightly bring it down in a V motion like I typically would with concealer. So I just go from the inner corner of the eye down into a V, and then I just pat up towards the outer corner. I never really like to take concealer and just go like this only in that area because especially if you take a picture with a flash, sometimes you can see that like white concealer. So I always go down from inner corner to a V to the outer corner like that. And it'll just kind of give the face some shape and dimension. Okay, so now that we have a little bit of that under the eyes, I'm gonna take it and just put a little bit of it around the nose because pretty much all women get redness around the nose. It's just hormonal. So I'm just gonna dab it in that area just to conceal, and then I'll also bring it down right here on the cupid's bow above the top lip, because I always have redness right there on the top lip area. And then I'll take it and put it on my little friend there, and her in there, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit right on the center of the nose. You, this is a very sheer concealer. I like it because I have absolutely no issue with it creasing, but I also use a very small amount and from the drugstore, so the price is right. Okay, now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I'm using a, this is a Lancome lash curler. I don't even know I own Lancome, la, ma, <coughs> Lancome, Lancome lash curler. This is probably my mom's. Anyways, I'm gonna curl my lashes like I normally would. I give my lashes like probably eight just pulses as I'm curling, I just kind of squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then you can see the difference in my eyes with lashes that are curled and not curled. And these will kind of go down a little bit in the next hour or so, but I like to curl them pretty intensely at first because I'm not gonna have time to be like recurling my lashes all throughout the day. So I give them a nice tight curl so that it lasts. I'm using Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I really like this mascara. It's just a nice and fluffy brush, and I think it gives your lashes a lot of volume. It looks like that, and I like kind of fat brushes, especially when they come to a point on the inner corner, because you can really get into the inner corner of the eye. So I'm just gonna go in zigzag motions. This is, oh God, that was a big clump. You'll never see me cry. I think I mentioned this before, but if you ever get mascara anywhere on your face, don't panic. No matter where you get it, just leave it be for at least a full 60 seconds, let it dry, and then once it dries, it will literally just wipe off. If you try to wipe it off when it's still wet, you're gonna smear it all over the place and make a big mess. So just wait until it's dry and it will literally just flake off with a Q-tip. Okay, I'm gonna coat my lower lashes with mascara as well, and because my lashes are high maintenance, my lashes are, not me. <laughs> I'm gonna be using Rimmel Lash Accelerator. This is again from the drugstore. My lower lashes are very, very picky. They get super clumpy, super easy, so I have to use certain mascaras. It's, it's dramatic. Anyways, also, this is so random, but so many people ask me in my videos if I have tattooed eyeliner down here, and I do not have tattooed liner down here. From time to time when I'm filming a video, you'll see that like my lower lash line is kind of pronounced and darker. And it's because yesterday I had a lot of eyeliner on the inner rim of my eye. And so when you wash your face, even when you wash and you scrub your eyes, you still sometimes have that leftover residue right in the base of your lash line. And that's what that is. It's not 
tattoo liner. The cold never bothered me anyway. Okay, time to stop singing right now. Okay, so now I'm going to take clear brow gel. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. Whatever you have will do, but I'm telling you, this brow gel is super glue. So a lot of it can tend to come out, so I just kind of go like this and wipe off the brush so that we do not have too much super glue on our brows. And I'll, ow, all I'm gonna do is just kind of flick my brows up and then down. So we are not filling them in today, we're just giving them shape because this is a foolproof thing to do to make your brows look a little bit fuller, more defined, and with this specific brow gel, they're not going to move. You can see the difference between this brow and this brow. It just has more definition, it just looks fuller, and just a little bit more presentable. It gives the face more shape. Like to me personally, when I look at this eye and this eye, this eye just looks better because of the fact that we have a brow that's defining it better. This is the brow that's always just like, and I'm like, oh, great. We're still gonna try to work with it. We will love you through your ugliness. So then I'm going to go in with blush. I'm going to be using a cream blush. I'm going to use MAC Cosmetics Something Special. This is one of my favorite cream blushes ever. It has tons of little brush hairs in it, so don't mind. But it's just like a really nice peachy, warm pink shade. I just love it and it's really beautiful for the fall. So I'm just gonna take my fingers like this. Oh my gosh, we're using no brushes today. <gasps> Okay, so just with my finger like this, I'm just gonna tap a little bit off in the back of my hand. You can see it's very pigmented. And I'm just going to put it lightly on the apples of the cheeks and then blend out. And when I blend out cream blush with my finger, don't worry, it's not gonna look this intense. <laughs> when I blend out cream blush with my finger, I like to kind of press and drag, if you will. I don't really know how to explain this motion that I'm doing, but I'm just kind of pressing and dragging it quickly. I don't really do this and like move it around, just kind of little movements of motion. So it's just a really natural flush to the skin. It doesn't really even look like we're wearing blush. It just gives us some color in the cheeks so that we're not just like lifeless. Honestly, if I start singing Frozen one more time, I'm gonna scream. Let it go. We're just gonna add a little bit of concealer down here because I just noticed that my chin is looking very red for some reason. So for my lips, I'm going to be using a very bright lipstick and this is from Maybelline and it's called Vivid Rose. It looks like this, but I'm not going to be covering my entire lips with it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of dab it lightly. I'm mainly doing this in the center of my lip. Almost just like a stain. I almost wanted to look like I just like ate watermelon, like bit into a juicy fruit. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take a clear lip gloss. I'm using, wait, is this clear? Yeah, it's, yes, it's gonna work. This is Galactic Sheer Bone. It looks like this. These are great glosses, I really like them. I'm just gonna go over my lips with this because even when I wear minimal makeup. I just love the way glossy lips look. I don't really like the look of flat lips when you're wearing minimal makeup. I think that it's just a little extra something just to pop and add some shine. I think it looks really girly. All right, you guys, so that completes this look. As you can see, it is just so simple and so basic. And I've just had so many requests recently to do something that is actually practical for the everyday woman. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. You know, it's obviously not like, oh my God, but it's definitely gonna make you look a little bit more fresh and awake and feminine, you know, and it literally takes five minutes. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I have to run out the door now to get my hair done. Oh, thank the heavens. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. I don't wanna be a fool in this game for two. Bye-bye. Pleats this makeup look. Well, all right, you guys, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye. It's like, oh my God, this candle smells so good. Would you still love me if I looked like this? It's almost like a better version of myself. I just... <laughs>